So this video is all about the front door. We took our bifold bus door and we are turning it into a solid door. Now right here, Mel is making the measurements because he's going to build a frame to make it one solid door. And he's making lots of measurements and he's also measuring the frame of the bus as well. Measure twice, cut once is always a good rule to live by. So now he is putting in some square tubing in between the two pieces that allow that to be a bifold door. We want to make it solid. So that piece of square tubing fit perfectly in that small gap there. So he is making lots of measurements because he wants to make sure that it fits perfectly. And uh, then he's going to use the chop saw there and cut it to the length that he needs and he's going to put it back in its place. So what he's doing here is cutting the top and bottom piece that are going to go on the door. He's um, making sure it's nice and smooth because you want to cut off those little metal burrs. Those are not fun to get in your hand. Now he's sizing up the two side pieces that are going to go run along the side of the door. And he actually used a C-clamp and clamped them together so he could cut them both at the same time because they were going to be the same length. Pretty ingenious if you ask me. So here he's going to be cutting a piece of angle iron the same length as the side pieces of the door. Now this piece of angle iron is where the hinge part of the door, that continuous hinge that we bought, is going to sit. And he wants it to be equal length as the two side pieces. And now he's kind of somewhat assembling it to see if he likes the way the layout is. I think he likes it. Now it's time to put the pieces together. So he's trying to figure out the best way that he wants to make those angles work. So once he figured it out, he's actually using, um, that's a welding magnet. It kind of helps you keep the pieces that you're working on steady. So um, he's welding the corners and uh, making it secure in all on all sides. And then he's gonna do that all the way around the frame. Now that he likes the way that that frame is going to sit on the door, it's time to do a little cleanup. Grab the grinder. He's going to clean up those corners. And then he's going to start on the bottom part of it. And also welding in that piece of ankle iron.
Our batteries died on the camera, so I didn't get to finish showing you how the frame turned out. He welded the whole frame, the door went inside, and then he welded in that middle structural piece. And it came out perfectly, at least to our standards. Okay, so here's what we got. This is the spine of the door, going that direction. And we bought this really cool um, continuous hinge. This is just a piece of it. The actual hinge is on the other side. Just so I can kind of show you what we're doing. This is the continuous hinge. Um, this is just a piece we cut off. But the issue is the holes, that line, these little holes here that are close to the front of the door, that one, they actually end up right on this wall. Which means if we go to drill those out, they're going to be up in there, um, and it's not going to work because the wall is likely to walk that drill bit away. So our cure for that is going to violate my warranty, but this door doesn't weigh 400 pounds, which is what this hinge is rated to hold. But what we're going to do is, as you can see, my, my cohorts in crime over here, we are going to take, this is the actual long full hinge, we're going to take and scribe, going right down the middle here, not between these ones, we're going to use the outside one, but all the way down that way, and we're going to drill new holes. Uh, we'll be able to use the ones on the side, because they're the ones on the side, because they're away from the spine, but just not the ones close to the, uh, the spine of the uh, the threshold and of the door itself. So that's what we're doing. So we're going to mark that down and then drill new holes. Uh, just so you know, we're not engineers, but we're pretty confident enough that we're going to go ahead and drill holes in this door that was designed to be built a certain way. And and we measured this like um, umpteen gazillion times, so I'm sure we're going to get it wrong. And uh, but that's okay. <laughs> Life happens. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, he moved too fast. So there we go. See what he's doing right now? Okay, that's good. What we did is we drilled these little baby baby holes right here. Those are the pilot holes for where we're gonna make the holes that size. That's the right size. These holes already existed. So what we did is we took a drill bit that just barely fit in this hole and we slid it down there. And then as you can kind of see down there, we just there's a little, little silver spot. Well, kind of see it. We just touched it, so when we uh, drill that all the way through, we'll know exactly where to do it. Basically, it's our little, uh, like a punch effect. So we're not going to use these ones. They're too close to the wall of the angle iron. We're going to use the ones over here. And that should do it. Isn't that right, Charlie? Yep. So let's show you putting it on there. It's on there, and then... Squishes it down. And then it's solid. It has a little, basically a nut. Now it's hard to see, but there's threads in there. It's called riv nuts. So a nut attached to a rivet. Okay, so we're we're attaching so we can drill the holes for the continuous hinge for the door. As you can see, we had to space it a little bit. Out. And that's because nothing on a bus is straight. Where? Yeah, there ain't nothing. The wall is actually kind of bent out, warped a little bit. And that's, uh, we could have, if we were smart enough ahead of time, but we ain't never done this before, so we didn't know. Um, see, it's got a tiny little gap down there, too. Um, it'll be okay. That's what, uh, we'll put some stuff in there to keep it from, but, uh, keep it from uh, leaking or anything. But that's what we're doing right now. So, there we go. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. And if you really like us, hit the subscribe button. You can always find us on Instagram and Facebook at the Nerd Herd Nomads. Uh, next video will be all about the lock. Looking forward to seeing everyone. Stay nerdy, my friends.